here's the thing, though, and this gets into the next topic. What about fans? What about as we get deeper into the season, more and more of these states are allowing fans to be present? You know, if I'm a team that has enough fans at my games that I'm actually making money, or my fans would be pissed off beyond all belief if they don't get to come watch a home playoff game. They've been waiting for years in Tampa to come watch a home playoff game if that would happen for the Buccaneers. How do you justify that? And I mention that because the Saints are currently in a tug of war with New Orleans to have more fans at the Superdome, and the Saints are exploring playing games at LSU Stadium in Baton Rouge, 80 miles away, so they can have fans there because, not because they're trying to chase the dollars, because we've talked about this before, the dollars aren't really there. But you've got fans, partners, sponsors who are upset that the Saints aren't doing more to, to get New Orleans to let them have fans present. So if you start taking home playoff games away, you are running the risk of fans being very upset at losing the opportunity to go see their favorite team play at home, Chris, because more and more of these stadiums are allowing it. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, st- it's still not a big number. I mean, it's not like all – I mean, 7,500 fans, it's not like it's going to – 25,000 in Dallas. Okay. 25,000 in Dallas. Yeah. I, I, no, well, that may be one of the bubbles, so maybe you have 25,000 people there for all those games. Yeah, I mean, if they can do it the right way and everything like that, then, I mean, I got no problem with fans at a game or whatever. I mean, yeah, New, New Orleans – I mean, I do think it's weird that, like, now we got teams trumping – like local cities, like oh, screw your rules. We'll we'll make our own rules and move out of here. That that to me is a little weird. All right, um, but but all in all, I mean, do what you got to do. I I don't know what else to say there. And yeah, I just hope the NFL can keep everybody safe with fans in the stadium and everything like that. Yeah, and uh, look, it's it's an issue that's going to continue to hover over the season. I think that home market bubbles for the playoffs would be fine. I don't think you need to have neutral site bubbles. I think you can play the games in the cities, but they're going to want to have no margin for error when it comes to the postseason because you're right. You can't postpone a game. You can't press pause on the playoffs. Yeah, and what are you going to do? You're going to forfeit a playoff game? People would lose their minds, especially if we get through 256 regular season games with no uh, forfeits of any kind. And, and as I've said before, I think they are determined to have no forfeits because they still have to pay the players, arguably, If there are forfeits, if games are canceled, they don't have to pay the players. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.